now coming up for you. Uh, England football legend Peter Shilton has joined forces with the National Gambling Helpline to help people struggling with addiction get support that they need. Here is uh, talking about his experience in a film produced by the Support Service. That day you stop gambling and you realise that it's a waste of time, it mm -hmm. doesn't suit you, mm. that's the day for me was the best day of my life. Peter joining us now, uh, alongside him, wife Steph. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining us on the programme this morning. Um, good morning. to see you. Uh, morning. Peter, to you, first of all, if I may, um, how did you start to realise that you needed um, help, that you had a problem and that you needed help? Um, <clears throat> well, it was a very, very long time before I realised that um, I had an addiction. I, I, it was, I just got to a point where... You know, I realised I was wasting so much time on gambling and getting nothing out of it. And obviously, when I met Steph, you know, we fell in love. And um, she had 20 years in the NHS, and she knew how to um, help me overcome my addiction, which was a, which was a massive thing. It was seven and a half years ago when I stopped, and it was, as I said in that clip, the best thing I ever did. Steph, how did you start to realise there was a problem? Very early on in the relationship, because I think when you're you're close to a gambling addict, you do pick up the, the signs, the soup kitchens of it, and obviously he was disappearing with his phone, and so you, you're watching sort of like some suspicious behaviour. I picked up on it quite early, Kay. Yeah, I mean you're obviously very close to a, as a couple. It's great to see you this morning, um, Peter. You say that Steph um, saved you. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, we actually brought a book out in September, which um, we, I described, you know, about addiction and Steph, um, about how the loved ones can cope with it, because there's obviously, you know, a lot of people around an addict uh, who, who have to obviously go along with it. And uh, an addict is, is very secretive and it's, it's has, you know, there's ways of finding out, but, but obviously the, the loved ones around are affected just as much. And, um, yeah, it's it's... It's one of those things where you, you want to keep it secret all the time. So it's, it's not a, an addiction that's easy to spot sometimes until it's too late and the money side of it is all gone. I think it becomes, Kay, like a game of cat and mouse. So you're sneaking around and trying to find evidence to back your suspicion and they're trying to hide it from you. I think in answer to your question also, I've never put any pressure on Peter. I never gave him an ultimatum because I realised that he was under enough mental strain with the addiction itself. So I didn't put pressure on him, but but gent gently, gently fed him. Um, that was that was very important because, you know, you've got to know how to help an addict. You know, you can't just go screaming at him and saying what an idiot you are and all that type of thing. You know, it is an illness and... You know, it, it takes takes a lot of good good advice to, to help an addict get through it. I wonder if you could tell us, Peter, about um, GAM Care. Um, and they've got a campaign, haven't they, that they're launching today? Yes. Um, I think they've been going for 25 years now. And the biggest thing with with anything is is getting the right advice and help. You know, that's, that's what's needed, really. And we made this video... Uh, with Matt Burgess and, and Joe O'Meara uh, of S Club 7. And we just chatted and kept chatting and chatting and chatting for, for ages. And, and the camera crew couldn't believe it. And they, they just said that was unbelievable. You know, we were so honest about everything. And we got so so many good things out of it. And, um, and that's very important, you know, to be open and honest and say, look, yeah, I, I had an illness, I had a problem, you know, let's, 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 Put that aside now and let's live life properly and um, and don't waste time you know don't waste a lot of energy in, in, on something you're not going to win at and steph what advice would you offer um to um other people who are potentially living with uh, an addict you say don't put them don't give them ultimatums because that won't work certainly don't lend them money let everybody around the addict know that they can't lend the money because money money is the heroin like the heroin is to the addict so stop fueling the addiction and understand it as it is it is a, a, an illness it's a chronic mental illness it's not a hobby that's gone wrong 
it, you know, this is a serious condition. And unfortunately, we are seeing at least one life a day taken in the UK as a result of it. So, yeah, approach it as a as an understa understanding. The addicts often feel terrible shame, which they shouldn't, um, you know, and obviously get support for yourself. Mm. Protect yourself financially. That's one of the biggest things I say. I'm an ambassador in the industry now, and I always say to loved ones, you know, protect yourself. Um, and um, and as I say, you you can you can go on that road of recovery together. It's not easy, no. but you get there. You get there. I think get there. getting advice for uh, you know for the addiction or the illness, and also loved ones getting advice because they play a big part. Yeah. Good to talk to both of you. We must leave it there. It's great to see you, um, though. Steph, looking gorgeous this morning. Thank you both very much indeed for joining us. <laughs> a gorgeous lady, so. <laughs> uh, you're a very lucky man, Peter. I'm sure you know that. Thank you very much oh, indeed, yes. both of you. <laughs> Thank you so Thanks much. Thank you. Take care. And if you are struggling with gambling or want to support someone who is, you can call Gamline for free on 08. 08-8020-133. And of course, you can always contact the Samaritans if you would like to at 116123 or you can email joe at samaritans.org. Gamcare offer free 24-hour support via their helpline and live chat services to help those affected uh, by gambling problems. Um, do check out our website and we'll do what we can to help you there. Quick look at the weather.